Hey, happy Sunday afternoon. It's John again. Gonna play some Immaculate Grid. Um, gonna start sharing right away. Just gonna get into it. Uh, that was grid number eight there. Just gonna do that. And we should have a new grid. And we do. And it's gold gloves. Let's see if I've gotten any better at gold gloves. Cleveland gold glove. I feel like we just had that one. And I uh, I didn't have a great answer on it. Um, we've got 100 runs scored batting, which is the first time I've seen that one, I think. But usually it would say new, so maybe not. Um, and then we got the Giants. Um, you have Cleveland, Kansas City, and St. Louis. 100, 100 runs did come up because I remember I was – I didn't know, but I was just kind of thinking like what kind of – or did it come? I was now I'm thinking that was 40 doubles. Who knows? Uh I misremember things. Uh Giants and uh and uh Guardians or in this case Indians. We'll go with uh former Milwaukee Brewers manager Harvey Keane played for both teams. Um but wanting to work Harvey Keane in more. Goes 0. 0.3. Actually a little bit higher than I would have thought. It's all right. Uh let's see, San Francisco, Kansas City. I'll bet Roberto Hernandez wants some recognition. That one. Point four. And San Francisco, St. Louis. I don't think this John McGraw has ever gotten gained a whole lot of traction. So yeah, he's point oh seven. So right now I'm at point seven seven through three. Um yeah. This is going to be an interesting one to navigate. I'm trying to think. After Kenny Lofton, which just, just came up, maybe it was one of the throwback grids, but did I ever come up with anyone better? Did I ever like go back and look at that? Um, so Lofton was 13%. I remember because I had a score of 26, and half of it was coming from Lofton. Um, and I'm trying to think, was there anyone... Anyone in the uh, the 80s who was any better? Corey Snyder had a reputation for having a big arm, but I don't think he ever actually won a won a gold glove. Um, I think we've also looked up Buddy Bell, but he never won a gold glove in Cleveland. He did win gold gloves in Texas, but not Cleveland. So I've looked that one up. Um, and I guess I could just skip over here to a hundred, hundred run seasons. Um, I gotta believe Earl Avril's gonna work. Okay, he gets point five. Hundred runs. I know Damon was like at one thirty five or something for the two thousand Royals. Um. Sure, I'm sure Willie Wilson is going to work. Um, I don't think Frank White's going to work. I think he hit a little lower in the order. Um, but George Brett's definitely going to work. I'm not sure on Jay Bell's one season. I'm not sure on Joe Randa or Mike Sweeney, just because a guy like Mike Sweeney was batting fourth or so in the order. So he was doing really well, but I'm not sure how the people behind him were hitting in those like early 2000s Royals teams. Jermaine Dye was in there too. Maybe he works. Oh, let's see. Lorenzo Cain, perhaps? All these would just be guesses. Um, and then for the Cardinals. Um, I'm trying to think of a good like Sneaky one. Lou Brock's going to work. Vince Coleman's going to work. Willie McGee's going to work. But I don't know 100 runs all that well. Maybe someone just kind of snuck. Let's try out our boy. Just because I know he'd be used here quite a bit. What about Frankie Rich? He takes 0.5. Um, let's 
Let's try, I think I've got a good one here. Chance, who I've used before. Yep, he played a partial season in St. Louis. Or at least maybe it was, yeah, I think he played full season in St. Louis. It was like a partial season in Pittsburgh and a partial season in Houston. I know that he's a good one to go with with gold gloves because he won a bunch of them. He works for the Yankees, Cardinals, I think Pirates and Astros. Um, gold glove for the Royals. Frank White will work. George Brett will work. Um, I don't know about Willie Wilson. I want to say Amos Otis will work. I think he'd work for both of these, actually. Question is which one to go with him on. Try him here. Takes three percent. Okay. So that's the first one over one percent, but not not too bad. Um Hal McCray. I don't know how how good he'd be. I'm also kind of thinking Jose Offerman, maybe. He had a, a pretty good year there in Kansas City. Um, Whit Merrifield, I've got to believe, will also work. Where do I want to go? Let's let's see how Damon does. Takes six percent. Okay, be curious how many actually end up with a hundred runs scored. Be surprised. Like you don't always need like a super elite season to get to a hundred runs. I remember Edgar Renneria scored a hundred runs one year and the next year won comeback player of the year. I specifically remember that because I'd be like, how much of a comeback can a guy have if he's scored a hundred runs the previous year? Uh let's see. Gold glove. I think Rick Manning. I did go back and see it. Rick Manning would be a better choice. I still think he'll be over one percent though. 1% on the mark. All right. So rarity score of 12 with half of that coming from Johnny Damon. 16 possible answers. I was right about Merrifield, Kane. I forgot Cabrera and Gordon and DeJesus. I didn't mention Beltron either. I, 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 I definitely should have come up with Beltron. Damon does it the one time. Jermaine Dye did do it. Mike Sweeney did do it. Damon did it again. Damon did it third time. Okay, so I, this is an order of, of seasons. Let's go to players. Uh, Beltron, Brett, Guerrero, Damon three times. Hal McRae did do it, 104. Jose Offerman did it the year I was thinking of, I think. Yeah, over 400 on base percentage. He had 102 runs scored. Otis got to exactly 100. Daryl Porter, I remember this season. I mean, I, it was 10 years before I was born, but I remember looking at this season and uh, big year for Daryl Porter in 1979. 20 home runs, 112 RBI, 421 on base percentage. Um, scores over 100 runs. Kevin Seitzer, spot the former Brewer there. All right. Um, Willie Wilson was a top top getter. Um, pretty sure Brett was the, yeah, Brett was the number one there. Um, but all right, not bad overall. How many, uh, I guess there was 29 gold glove choices for St. Louis. I had a pretty good one there. Um, 15 gold glove choices for Kansas city. Um, I definitely need to go back and look at gold gloves, but I, I did all right on this run. Uh, what was that? 14. We said 12, 12. That's a pretty good score. I'll take a 12. Um, all right. Well, have a good rest of your Sunday. Episode is brought to you by my book once again, and I'll be back at tomorrow. Peace.